at the beginning of each script that we want to enable for this uh, contact center administration uh, feature, which is a, another script. You call into the script, you press 1 to open your queue, 2 to close the queue, and record a special announcement. So each of your other scripts that wants to participate um, with that functionality needs to begin with um, a section at the top of the script that uh, actually goes and verifies whether you have an emergency closing. And it does this by going to the uh, get result. In this case, each script is going to have a different uh, input map. And this, this one here, we want to uh, read the XML file Q1 status to determine if the you know, if we're open or closed. And if that value in the XML file has changed from false to true, therefore we must be closed and we're going to play a special closed recording. And, and that's the end of it. If we read that file and it comes up uh, false, then clearly we're open and the rest of the script continues. And I try to put this at the beginning of each of the scripts in this particular contact center so that uh, supervisors have that ability to call in and, and have special closings. So let's uh, take a look at this. As you saw earlier, we did in fact uh, close this queue. So let's take a look and see how this uh, debug shows it. So if we go into uh, document management, <clears throat> we'll find that we create a document that's uh, created by the uh, XML, the, the set. So set goes out here and creates something called Q1 status XML. Very simple Boolean switch. And as you can see, this is currently set to false. So what we're going to do now is call back into the application. This time we're going to close the uh, Q1 queue. And uh, I'll connect the dots. But uh, at the moment, what you need to see here is that we've got a false value in this document setting. And after we run through the script, you'll see it's uh, set to positive. This is a test message created to demonstrate CC admin. And this queue is linked to the queue for callback. Thank you. Your change has been activated. And you'll see the value is now set to true. 